that contain as many elementary units that contain as many elementary units that contain as many elementary units bracket open atoms molecules and other particles that contains as many elementary watt units the unit they are talking about are your atoms molecules and what other particles as there are continuation as there are as there are as there are As there are atoms, as there are atoms, and there are atoms in exactly, in exactly, in exactly 12 gram of carbon 12 isotope. 12 gram of carbon 12 isotope. 12 gram of carbon 12 isotope. Now, other moles, we have this formula N equals to N N A. Please pay attention. The big N they represent the number of objects. Number of objects. Or I can also call it number of what particles. Then why the small n there represent what the moles? Like number of moles. Then the big n, sorry, n it represent what Avogadro's number. Avogadro's constant or number. Take note, your Avogadro constant is a constant value. Which is six point what zero two three or two two then times ten is for what twenty three okay it can be atoms it can be what molecule it depends so that's it six point zero two two times ten raised to power what twenty three atoms or what molecule so from here if n is equal to n n a to get our n divided side by what n a right so our n is equal to what n over what n a please take note of that solution for number one we are told that suppose a sample of vitamin c is known to contain 1.29 times 7 power 24 hydrogen atoms okay then as well are other kind of words of atoms don't forget your vitamin c has so many ingredients in it right yeah. and part of the ingredient was what the hydrogen was atoms are you getting me so that is sitting as the number of what particle or the number of what objects okay and we are now told that how many moles of what hydrogen atom does the sample contain so from here we are giving our big n to be 1.29 times 10 to the power 24. Now 1.29 times 10 to the power 24 atoms. Is it not? Now this time around, <clears throat> we are asked to look for N. Don't forget, our N is constant, which is Avogadro's number, right? Yes. So our N is sitting at 6.022 times 10 to the power 23. Are you following? Yes. All right. So this time around, to get our n, 
I told you that our N is equal to N N A. Is it it? Yes. So to get our N, the Bible said by N A. That means our N will be equal to N over N A. Are you following? All right. So from here, our N will be equal to what's big N? 1.29 times 10 raised to power 24. Divided by Avogadro's constant, 6.022 times 10 raised to power 23. So from there, what will be our answer? 1.29 exponential 24. Then divided by 6.022 exponential 23. We are 2.142, right? Now it's 2.142. What will be the unit moves? All right. So for the number two, please pay attention. We are told that a sample of drug extracted from a fruit used by the Ashwajivaros people of Peru to treat fungal wart infection is found to contain what? 2.58 times 10 to the power 24 oxygen atoms. So that's the number of what particle, right? Yeah. So which is our big word N. To be what? 2.58. By 2.58 times 10 to the power 24. So oxygen word atoms. So we are told that how many moles of oxygen atoms are now present in the word sample? We are looking for the number of more that small n, is it not? Yes. Don't forget your n a is constant, which is what? 6.022 times 10 raised to power 24. So 23, right? Alright. To get our n is big N over what? N A. Are you following? Alright, from there, what's our big N? 2.58 times 10 raised to power 24 divided by n is what? 6.022 times 10 raised to power 23. So what will be our small n? So you can divide that. 4.284 moles. All right. For the number three question. We are told that a small cup of coffee contains 3.14 moles. So this time we are giving our number of moles, right? That is our small n, is it not? So this time we are giving small n to be what? 3.14 moles. All right. Of water molecule. How many H2O molecules are now what? Present. That is the H2O molecule now is not the number of what? Particle, is it not? So we are looking for big N, which is the number of objects. Don't forget your N is constant, which is what? 6.022 times 10 raised power 23. All right. So to get our big N now. So don't forget N is equal to N, N, A. Is it not? All right. So from there, our N will be equal to what small N? That 3.14 times... 6.022 times 10 to the power 23. So what would be our big N? One. What do we have? 1.89 times 10 to the power 24 molecules. So that is our answer. So you can copy that.